so when thinking about writing the book and how I was going to format it, the four quadrants of divorce developed for me. And so I separate divorce, the divorce process into four areas. One is how are you going to organize for the process? There are many different ways. There's a digital way, there's a hands-on binder system. There are platforms that you can purchase to help you get organized. So how are you going to create this organizational system for yourself. Because when you feel organized, your stress levels come down. The second area is the emotional aspect of divorce. You know, there are so many different facets, whether it's you have children, you're going to be single for the first time, you're gonna go back to work. Fear and anxiety and grief are all part of this divorce process. And you really want to be able to separate the emotional side from the divorce side so that you avoid, I like to call the 12 most common pitfalls of divorce. And then the third quadrant is the legal aspect of the divorce where you're working with your attorney and there's so many different documents that you need to be able to provide for your attorney in so many different situations that you need to think through so that you can make the best decisions. And then the fourth aspect, which I know is where your area of expertise comes in is the financial side. And again, with the financial side, you know, ignorance is not bliss. I remember when I was younger, my mother used to always say ignorance is bliss. Well, <laughs> when you're going through the divorce process, it's so important to be educated which is why I really loved the MDS financial portrait, because the more educated individuals are about their finances, the more productive and efficient they can be in going through the divorce and making very solid decisions that they can live with today, a year from now, and 10 years from now. So in the book, I, I go through extensively those four quadrants and really provide a roadmap of everything you might need or want to, to include in your marital settlement agreement. And that is the agreement that you sign at the end, you know, when you're dissolving your marriage. And you want it to be something that you both can live with and move forward into your next chapter of life.